We're on a school of redfish right now. There's about 200 in the school. And uh, old fish boy's on the front of the boat and I'm on the back of the boat this morning. We're just out here having some fun. Oh, check this out. They're tailing right there. Come on, baby. Up, fish boy, or I'm gonna throw this thing out and whack one. Who's on? Oh, he missed it, he missed it. Fish, George, fish, 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 fish. Oh, we roll up. There he is. Oh, fish on. Let me get around you, Blair. Okay. <laughs> From the platform, baby. <laughs> From the platform. <laughs> That's why you can't do that. Dude, they slammed on it twice. <laughs> oh, man, what a fish. Where you at? About straight three o'clock. Oh, man, was that an awesome hit or what? Sorry about that. You get the next one. It's okay. Look here. Some right here behind us. Oh yeah. Here he comes. He's coming. Come on. Okay, dude, they're going back out three o'clock. Okay, let's see. Get in front of him. God, it's a big fish. Oh, he just broke off. Get another one. Watch, watch. Here he goes. Here he goes. Got him. All right, way to go, Troy, baby. Oh. Easy, on, easy, easy on that stuff. You don't got to set the hook hard with that power pro, man. It's, there is no stretch Ooh, in that. Stuff. You see me come up on top. And just sip it right up. Way to go, brother. Yeah, baby. Very good day, man. I like this. It's been a while since I've been on the. Of the boat. <laughs> yeah, they like that thing just scooting across the top. Ooh, boy, these rods have a good feel to them. Yeah. I'm trying to chase you now. Yeah, you see that? Bump, bump, bump. Look at him over here. I'm fixing to get me one on. Where, 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 where are they? <laughs> you couldn't help but see those guys. Ray Charles could see those fish. That's what I tell my clients a lot. It's beautiful, beautiful. Got a nice fish on. He's probably about 25, 30 pounds. Feel that? Oh yeah, nice little shape. Well, he gobbled that DO way up, didn't he? Yeah, he did. What do they call that thing? An adjust a floater. Oh, it's got a great action. Well, it looks just like a scared mullet sitting on the top of the water. Well, you know, I like the fact that it's got those little... Uh, oh! He came off. That hurt my feelings. <laughs> I had him good, too. What in the heck? Look at that. Hey, look. He got off. I pulled on a little bit, and the line came off. And look, a uh, little curl. You know what that means? It means the knot that you tied pulled out. Man, <laughs> we're gonna get you a fish. I promise. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Break hands, break hands, back out, back out. All right, we got a couple, a couple new lures tied on. We're gonna get back up on these fish. We're gonna catch you one this time. A little faster. A little faster. A little faster. Good job. Man, I didn't think they were gonna hit. Just kicking it after you. He just ain't coming out of that school, is he? He's not coming back. Man. You might I mean, want to come a little, little bit, go, go a little bit light on him, Troy, because another fish might swim into that line and bust you off. 
Had it happened so many times. You figure we could get one. <laughs> Dude, one of them would come up and eat that. You know, I've never seen a place that has so many world record sized fish. There are more records come out of this area than any other, isn't it? Yeah, right. yeah. Fly rod and all the all the line class, a lot of the line class. There's still a couple from up there in North Carolina. But uh, most of the majority of them now, I think, are from here. Look at he won't come out of that school. Oh. The thing is, though, fishing for them up there is not like fishing for them here where you got two feet of water and just crystal clear flats. It's beautiful, man. He doesn't want to come to the boat, man. This is one of those guys that, that just has it in his mind not to come to the boat. He's going to take it. He's going to have his way with you. Yeah, he's going to. He, oh, listen to that. Oh, man. That's one thing I love about these Fennor reels. I love that drag. Oh, yeah, the it's, sound of that thing. Oh, yeah. It's, it got a real prominent sound. You know when it's going out. Can I borrow a hand? Hey, what's the matter? You're too used to holding these big old push poles? I'm too used to being on that push pole, man. Can I borrow the hand? And I always say, oh, don't be so baby. I think if I jump down, he'll be able to keep pulling us this way. We'll land his, land his mogan self. Hey, Blair, there's a fish on the end of my line, buddy. That's a big one, too. <laughs> That's a motor. that big old fish. Man, <laughs> that's a Mogan. Man, what a fish. Look at that beautiful fish. And these things decide they want to give up. I tell you what, they're just as about as docile as they can be. They just get calm down. <sighs> they just calm down a lot. That is Indian, a beautiful fish. Indian River redfish. Look at that what head. A fish. Well, I told Troy I'd pull him on one of these things today. I think now we're going to go get some trout. If we, uh, I tell you what, I want to think I might want to try one of these things. Okay. I'm going to catch one, then we'll go do some trout. Let's get the hook out of this thing. Hey, good job, sir. I appreciate it, man. Good, awesome. good job, Paul. Now you're going to see Fish Boy pull the boat. Because <laughs> now it's my turn. Let's see your pliers, sir. Yes. There you go. Very good. Not a just a floater, man. I tell you what. Well, I like how that looks, the body comes back up the line. Yeah, looks just like a mullet. Let's get him back in. What a nice fish. One big spot on that side and two on that. I've said this before about redfish, but when they're little fingerlings like this big, they have this spot on the tail that makes it look like an eye up front. And it looks like a looks like a an eye to predator fish when they come up to eat it. And so it gives they come and attack the tail. And when they try for the tail, the redfish is able to swoosh away real quick and uh, have a better chance for survival. And, this one definitely survived a few years. Whew. Let's let him go. All right. Good job, man. You know whose turn it is now, though, don't you? Oh, man. <laughs> I was hoping you wouldn't say Time that. Time for me to come to the front of the bus. Hey, y'all stick around. We'll be right back. I'm going to get the one that just showed his tail to us. And I see him. He's right there. Right there. You see him? Oh, look at that. Fish? Sure looks like a red. We're in the no motor zone today with Captain Travis Tanner. We got some big black drum right out in front of us. We're gonna see if we can show you one of these Mogan fish. These things are giant. These things are giant. They're all running about 28 to 30 pounds. Look at me, I'm shaking like a leaf. <laughs> it just don't get no better than this in the winter time. There he goes. He's on it. Yep, he's on it. There he is, brother! <laughs> yes, sir, brother. That's a big old black drum there now. Nice fish. Good to spot go, on there, Travis. Great spot. Yeah, it's rough getting around the camera, guys. <laughs> Lose more fish that way. You gotta like the Power Pro, though. That would have been mono, that would have been history, right? Yes, there. it would have definitely. Thanks on that, Travis. You know, one thing I've noticed here, Travis, is the crowds. You know, it's, it's so crowded up here, I tell you. I don't know where you can find a spot to fish. Where were the only ones on the water today? I think you're right. That's one thing you usually don't do, can't do in the summertime, is come out and target these big black drum on the flats like this. The wintertime, the cold weather, that's the time you got to do it. Now, they really don't 
they really don't pull real hard like a redfish does, real fast runs. This one's making a liar out of me, but you know, they, they do real hard runs. They're real broad fish, a lot broader than a redfish. But the same family, though, you bring them up and they all, they just drum. Even a speckled trout, what do we call speckled trout, spotted sea trout, they're in the drum family too. Again, he's got me almost down to the backing. Kind of like talking like fly rod fish in there, but what I'm, what I'm talking about there is this Power Pro. What I got on there is about 15, 20 yards of uh, like 10 pound test monofilament. And then I fill it up the rest of the way with Power Pro and then down to my leader. And uh, the reason I do that is you don't have to put, you know, this stuff's so thin, the diameter's so small, you can put just a ton of it on. And you can use that, uh, use your mono in the back as like filler. God, this guy's got some shoulders on him. Yeah, he does. Look at that weight. And as you can see, we've got a true Mogan on the end of the line here. Fishing back up here where I used to come as a kid, I tell you what, brings back some old memories. You know, people used to talk about the good old days, Travis, and y'all out there, about the good old days, you put in a little bit of work, you get yourself a canoe and you can pull all the way up here to the no motor zone and experience something like it's, it's as close as you can get to what it used to be like. I tell you what, these fish No are doubt just, about it, that's what it's all about, big fish out here in the no motor zone, Blair. No doubt. Nice black drum. This is probably my biggest black drum from up here. As a kid, we used to come up here and catch them. You know, five, ten pounds to take them home and eat them. Perfect eating size. Look at the size of the head on that thing. Would you look at the head on that? <laughs> Oh, he's wrapped, he's wrapped. Be real careful right now. Yikes. You know, this thing's gonna be fun when we get him into the boat, Travis. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like a tug of war with a Mogan in the morning. Uh, you gotta love black drum fishing, man. Catching Mogans, oh, you gotta love it. You gotta love it. Let's land this fish, Travis. Yeah, look at the head on this thing. You know, it's winter time now, and these fish, this is the best time of year to come up and get these, get these big fish up here on the flat. For some reason, when it's cold, they, they like it in the deep water. And, ah, uh, give me a, oh, did you see God. that? Oh, that thing man. was, that thing was barely in there. Just barely in his lip. See, the fish was meant to be yours, Blair. That barb wasn't even in there. Yeah. Now that is a black drum. <laughs> nice fish. That's a good one. That is a good one. It's winter time now, and they're coming up here on the flats to scavenge for, for what, crabs and clams that come up and die like from the winter time. They'll come up, and the, the clams will open up on the bottom, and they'll sit around and root around for those. But uh, if they remember the drum family, as you can hear him drumming. And uh, that's, I tell you what, these things just always amaze me. Big old ugly, ugly, ugly fish. <laughs> Let's get him back in the water here. You know what, I might just go grab that top water plug and nail one. Try it. You have to get a little bit closer though. But they're coming right to us. Got their tails up. They're all bright and yellow, nice and happy, like little yellow submarines. Yellow submarines. There he comes, coming in, coming in. Yep, right there, right there. Right there, right there. Look at it, look at it, look at it. There he is. Oh, yeah! <laughs> that was sweet. That was that sweet. Was sweet Good buddy. job, man. Is that awesome or what? Got We're offshore road. Port Canaveral. We got Captain Jim Ross on the front of the boat here, and we got a big deck Charge charging us. <laughs> He's got a bonefish beak. Definitely. Wow. He's halfway to that rock again. Wow. What a run. Anybody thinks this drag is loose? <laughs> look how much that rod's bent. He's peeling this much out. Golly, look at the size of this guy. A true Mogan Jack Crevel. Yeah, baby. That's why they're called tackle busters. 
This is like he's got a shark trying to eat on him, I think. Don't even look like he's moving his tail. Just kind of swimming right along. He's got his body next to the current and just giving it all. Giving it all he's got. Giant Jack Cravel. Absolutely giant pigs. Biggest Jack Cravel I think I've ever seen. You know any place they get any bigger, Jim? Well, we got a solid crop up here, don't we, Blair? I Definitely. tell you what, you know, you, you, you and I both growing up as kids have done a, a lot of this kind of fishing and it's, I never get tired of it. Whenever you get fish that pull this way, this strong, don't ever give up until they come to the gunnel. You just gotta love it. That's why we call them our jacks, buddy. <laughs> incredible pull or what. They just don't give up. We were out chasing tarpon this morning and we just couldn't couldn't get one to eat. We had a couple come up rolling the baits, but they didn't want to eat at all. So we said, hey, let's go see if we can catch a jack. And I tell you what, these things will pull about like an 80, 90 pound tarpon does. The only thing you don't get is a jump. Definitely a mogan. What do you think? No doubt about that. That's right. I'm calling that fish 25. 25. I give him 30. <laughs> he won't go 40. I'm calling him 25. Round and round we go. Where are we landing? Nobody knows. There he is. The yellow submarine, brother. Wish we could get one on here kind of green so you could hear him grunt, and they don't grunt like them little tiny ones. These things sound pretty mean. You know, Blair, the, the one thing that I've noticed with this Power Pro, you can beat the fish a lot quicker, yeah. but you really have to be careful with your drag setting because these fish are so powerful, even late in the fight, they can still break you off. Oh, yeah, so just you don't want to ever tighten down on these fish. One just flick of the exactly, head and it's exactly over. Exactly like you're doing, cut the spool, you know, work them the way you're supposed to work them, the way we've been taught to work them. And those fish will come to the boat in about 25 or 30 minutes. 25 or 30 minutes. <sighs> On a little light trout tackle. <laughs> and what Jim says was doing about cupping the reel, I got the drag set real loose. I'm fishing 20 pound Power Pro and I got the drag set probably on about seven, seven or eight pounds. And it's just real light, so what I, the reason I'm cupping the spool is that when the fish is getting a little bit weak, I cut the spool and pull him back with the rod, and then I can reel down on him without the drag going out. That's something I you normally don't tell my clients to do, and grab the spool, but you know, sometimes it's, it's something you have to do and learn how to do and do it good, because if you don't, they'll end up snapping off. That's a true Mogan Jack Carvel there, brother. <laughs> God, look at the size of that puppy. This is definitely a big one. Oh, hello, baby. He's done. We got that bug handy? Yeah, I sure did. We want to see what this guy goes. I think this one's about 30. It's a good one. You think? It's a big one. They're all good fish. Good <laughs> God, that's a Mogan Jack. Oh man, these things are in there good. There Got we it. go. Now that is a serious Jack Carvel. There it goes. That's a serious crusher sound there, isn't it? How'd you like to get your finger in there? Well, thanks for tuning in to Addictive Fishing this week. I know this guy here is a little bit smaller than the ones we just showed you, but the Space Coast has got it all. Inshore, offshore, you just can't beat this place. It's my backyard, it's where I grew up. Don't forget about the website, addictofishing.com. We'll see you guys next week, right here on OLN. Now that is addictive. Oh. <laughs> Brother.